is to deal with racism for to deal with people telling you you don't look old enough to be my nurse What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I make all types of lifestyle vlogs and videos. So don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jasmine Nurse. Let's just get into the video. The lighting's way better that way. It's been a long time since I've done like a sit down video with you guys. You guys know how these videos go. So grab your coffee, grab your water, whatever you need to settle down and let's get into this talk. For those of you who don't know me, I have been an ER nurse a little bit over a year now. I've been working in the ER as an RN. And um, I have some big news that I'm going to announce. I wanted to wait till Vlogmas to talk a little bit more about it. So I'll talk to the minimal about it. But I did want to talk a little bit about burnout. So background about me, I have one year of ER, two per diem jobs. One was a flu clinic. Um, we're also in the process of doing like COVID clinics now. Um, and then the other one is essentially you're like this OR, circulating, scrub nurse. You're basically all three roles in one. Um, and it's at this pain cl clinic that I work at. So it's a lot to handle, um, especially that on top of my like full-time job. Um, I think a lot of people are just... I think a lot of people can relate to the sense of burnout right now because of everything going on in the world everything going on with their jobs and not feeling safe in their work environments it can lead to a sense of burnout and if you don't know what burnout is god bless you <laughs> um but for me personally i feel that i've been like trickling this wormhole of burnout for quite a while now but i've realized that every time i feel the sense of burnout and I feel like not in like a good place or like in a bunk um my coping skills are constantly just to continue to keep busy which is like always gonna come off as a good thing in this generation hustle culture is looked upon as a positive thing and I think because of the fact that I am in my nature constantly a person who doesn't want to ever have like time to myself i always want to be busy i want to always have something planned and i think that's something that can obviously lead to burnout so for some people it's it's always having that work-life balance and i think for me personally it always comes off as I have a work-life balance because that's always what I try to portray on this channel. And it's really difficult because, um, although I would say for the most part, like I do do things for myself, I have time off from work, it's hard because when I started, this is, let me give you my timeline. Ever since I graduated from high school, I have been going to school. So literally, I graduated high school in June of 2015. July of 2015, I went straight into summer school for my college. And I've been going to college like ever since I did summer school between every single term. And then West Coast, and then West Coast is all the way through. You don't have any breaks. You have like that one week off between your 10-week semesters. I'm sure a lot of people know. But between that and I graduated August of 2019 from college, I got a job before I even took my NCLEX. Uh, and obviously this comes off as very fortunate because a lot of people are struggling to find jobs right now. And the fact that I was able to get a job straight literally out of college is not a very, like, it's like a rare phenomenon nowadays. But the, the thing with that is that ever since then, I literally never stopped working. And I know it sometimes comes off as I'm like fucking lazy because a lot of the times I will say I'd rather stay home and just eat chips. And I'd rather stay home and lay in bed and watch Grey's. But a lot of the time, back to my point, I don't even know what I was talking about. It's so easy to lead to burnout because 
I think a lot of the hostel culture has been instilled in our minds and especially my mind that we're always made for more. I'm 22 or 23 now and I've worked so many RN jobs. In my mind, nothing's ever good enough and the way that I mentally cope with these burnouts, these struggles, like my mental instability is to do more and on the exterior that will always always come off as success and that will always come off as someone who's doing doing the most or whatever they call it nowadays but it's so hard because no one will ever tell you this is wrong and I think comes such a long way for me because I didn't know myself that it was wrong because of all the congrats and the oh you're doing so well for your age I get that all the time like I'm sure literally everyone who's like a young nurse gets this all the time like you're doing so well like you shouldn't be like worried about this and that and I was gonna announce this later on but like I got another job somewhere else and I think that's what's really stressing me out is because this job at this hospital is like a job that people stay at forever and it's hard for me to like deal with that because I guess for me I go from job to job and it's normal because I'm young but it's hard because I guess it's hard because getting treated like an adult when you're like hardly an adult is really difficult to work with people who are like so significantly older it's so hard because I haven't reached those like maturity points in my life and I just get this, I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's just I'm getting so burnt out with this idea of adulthood where I am constantly pushing myself to do more, to make more money, to learn more things and there's no reason, there's absolutely no reason for me to do that. That I think this constant um, societal push for you to do better and be better and move out by the time that you're like 24 or whatever to buy your house at 23 and uh, I don't know it's always like checking these boxes and then eventually you just try and check all these boxes and then it'll just uh, one way or another it's gonna like catch up to you and it's gonna catch up to you and you're gonna burn out so my point being I don't is that I've just been like struggling a lot and I guess that's why I haven't really been posting on a frequent basis and I don't know I like I have contemplated getting like a life coach or like therapy or something just so that I could deal with this because like my coping habits are always to do more, to work more, to get more jobs, to get more experience, to learn more and that never comes off as a negative coping habit because you... <sighs> because the repercussions of that is burnout but on the exterior it looks like success and I think that's why it's never recognized as like a negative coping habit because on the, ex on the outside it's literally not it's literally what people strive for and it shows that you're hardworking and you persevere and you're not lazy but there always has to be a balance at the end of the day I don't know it's kind of hard because especially with everything going on in the world it's really hard for me to like not be anxious about it but all in all I think that I just like need a break um and I know people are gonna bitch at me and tell me Jasmine why would you need a break you've only been working for one year do you know how hard it is to deal with racism for to deal with people telling you you don't look old enough to be my nurse I don't want a Chinese nurse do you know how hard it is to deal with that on like a daily basis and I think that's why <sighs> it's just frustrating all in all i just wish that in my mind it was more instilled that it's okay to take breaks it's okay to slow down but my my nature is always to just do more but 
I'm still doing my best to try and cope with that because right now I am struggling to just slow down and to like appreciate what I have and to just um, not overwhelm myself because I seem like I always do and I'm always going to be thankful for everything that I have and grateful that I can do what I do but at the end of the day I should also be giving myself credit where credit's due and just to take a break every once in a while and if you yourself are literally I don't know it's just hard for me because I'm always promoting these like productive days productive vlogs um but I don't show the days where I like struggle with this burnout like you don't see my day today life and I put out as much as I can put out but I think it's just like such a sad thing to be burned out at like 23 because I think I just pushed myself too far and if I just hadn't pushed myself this far maybe I wouldn't be so burned out but it's also attributed to like the circumstances that were under and the fact that a lot of the pandemic and our bizarro re regulations and the way that we are using our nasty PPE and stuff it's just it's difficult and I don't know what else to really say about it but if you're watching this and you need to take a break go ahead and take a break because you know it's saying it seems like you're being fucking lazy by watching TV for a day but in reality it's actually saving you time because the minute you burn out you're gonna burn out and you're gonna waste even more time so take your breaks do what you need to do to be mentally sane during this horrible time and i hope you all are staying safe and healthy um i post a lot more on my social media so if you do want to watch um my instagram is at jasmineers and my snapchat is jasmine underscore manatee i feel like i post a lot more there just because um it's more personal um but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this very blunt video i know you guys actually kind of enjoy my sit down videos where i get kind of real with you guys and i haven't been really talking to you guys in a sit down video in a long time so i kind of wanted to post one but that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys